about the Squire Supersonic. I got this guitar because it intrigued me. Uh, as you can see, it's got a weird flipped offset body. It's got a flipped headstock and it's got two volume knobs uh, and no tone knob. I like that. Um, it's a weird Fender and a weird Fender is a fun thing to have, but is it really? Um, well, I'll share my experiences with this guitar. Um, hope you like it. First of all, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so because it's very helpful to me and it makes me feel loved. So if you would like to do that, please do so. Um, the Supersonic. When I first got this guitar, I plugged it into my home amplifier, which is a Yamaha THR thing. Um, I didn't like it. Uh, it didn't sound good. It didn't feel nice to play. Um, so I put it back into its box and I thought, well, I'll keep this one until they discontinue it and then I'll flip it for more money, as you do. Um, hey, I'm no better than you. But then I brought it to the studio and I plugged it in into my nice Cornell amplifiers and suddenly I discovered that maybe there's more to it. Um, basically, the pickups sound very good. So, and also I felt like this short scale neck, 24 inches, um, did something special to me. Um, it made me play like me. I'll get to that later on. Um, but the setup was shit um, and it went out of tune when I looked at it. Um, so first I put on good strings. I put on 11s. The, uh, this guitar ships with a set of 9s. It's, it's absurd to put a set of 9s on a short scale guitar. It doesn't make any sense. I don't think it makes sense to put a short, to put a set of 9s on any guitar. I don't like it at all. But on a short scale guitar, it just doesn't make any sense at all. So I put on a set of 11s. Um, then, of course, to do that, I had to change the action, the truss rod had to be adjusted, the saddles had to be repositioned to get a correct intonation. While I was at it, I rolled the edges of the neck, I polished the frets, I oiled the fingerboard, took some gloss off the back of the neck. Uh, essentially, I, I gave it a really good setup. Then I played it and then I, suddenly it worked. Suddenly it felt like a guitar that is just right for me. Um, I haven't set up the vibrato yet because I fear the tuners are not up to vibrato work. But blocked like it is right now, at least it stays in tune. So, but back to the sound. Um, the humbuckers are reasonably bright and have a have a very pleasing sound. Um, and also the two volume knobs, that's quite versatile uh, to do fun stuff with. I mean, you can have like a quieter neck pickup and then go to the bridge and have a roaring full-on sound. So it works well with the tube amp, I find. Um, if you're the kind of person that likes pushing the, the power stage of your tube amp. Um, but the most interesting thing about this is the scale length. Because it makes you play in a different way. Um, Surprisingly for me, it makes me play like me, which is, uh, which is a great thing. Um, you see, many nice guitars pass through the studio um, and I enjoy playing them. I enjoy the PRSs, I enjoy the Relish, I enjoy the Fender Custom Shop guitars. Um, 
I get why they are fancy. I get why they are expensive. Um, I can feel and hear the quality. But it's not necessarily the best guitar for me. This guitar is quite good for me. Um, because it, essentially, because it stops me from playing the blues. <laughs> like the blues but I have nothing interesting to say in blues uh, it's, it's it's for somebody else so any guitar that is focused on like optimal vintage tone and feel for me it doesn't really work because it makes me do bluesy stuff or rock and roll stuff which is a language that I don't speak very well now this guitar is not made for blues it or you can do it, but it, it, it's not really made for it. It feels cramped, uh, it has a slightly weird sustain. It's not a tone machine, but it feels uh, like the, it feels like it's made for the kind of music that I enjoyed when I was a teenager. So it feels like it's great for indie, for noise, for math rock stuff. And so it makes me feel a bit like I'm 16. Um, and it, feels a bit like a like a rebellious instrument in a way of course it's not it's made by a mega corporation uh, outsourced to china played by a daddy -o that lives in a village um, there's nothing rebellious about the situation but it's a, it's a guitar that makes me play like me and it makes and it, and it feels quite different to all of the other guitars that pass by the studio so yeah I enjoy it. Uh, I think I might actually keep it. I, I'll probably put in better tuners. Um, but it's yeah, it's it's fun. It makes you. It makes me do things that I would like to do, but that I can't really do on a longer scale like as well. So you can get these extended chords and roll around them, and it feels quite nice. Um, it also works very well for this kind of psychedelic weirdo solos that I like to play, um, like that mix noise with this kind of McLaughlin flurries and it also reacts quite well to dirt um, so yeah I, I think it's that it's the anti-blues machine and I think that is very good in a guitar to be an anti-blues machine like most of the guitars when I pick them up and I figure out oh what shall I play on the video with this one I noodle around on like jazzy bluesy stuff maybe some some tasteful surfy things or some soul when i grab this and i plugged it in first i played a song that i wrote myself which is a good sign then i played venus in first by the velvet underground so that i think that is a testament to the kind of character this guitar has um i'm not sure if it will work for you there's frustrating things about this guitar as well like the tuners are, are a frustrating thing the nut might need to be recut the string tree is probably rubbish. Um, 
I might discover more things. I don't like the vintage saddles because they dig into my hand. But it sounds lovely. The neck is joyous to fly around. Um, it's very light. It looks funky. And uh, yeah, I think I found something new to enjoy in my life. Um, yeah. That's it. Um, perhaps this is a guitar you would enjoy. Try it out. It might surprise you. Um, yeah. Just a couple of clips of where I play it in this video. Um, I think they give you an idea on the kind of sounds you can expect to come out of this thing and also the kind of the kind of vibe that it has perhaps yeah hope you enjoy that um, have a nice day and I hope to see you back take care ciao